Hello everyone, we're standing here today at the World Electrolysis Congress, organized by World Hydrogen Leaders. My name is uh, Johan Wiebe from Hydrogen Standard, and with me here today stands Charles Cook from the Technology Partnerships, or TTP. Do I say that correct, uh, Charles? Yep, that's absolutely correct. Hello. Fantastic. Uh, thank you for uh, being here. Um, so tell us a little bit about uh, TTP, what it does, and what your role in the business is. Okay, so TTP is a technology and systems development company and we work for client companies to um, bring technologies to market and to fruition and um, we're about 250 engineers and scientists, uh, very multidisciplinary, working on a campus in Cambridge with uh, loads of facilities. So we're all set up to develop technologies fast and take them right the way through from sort of a first idea through to being ready to manufacture and, and mass produce, including getting them tested and, and qualified. And um, yeah, and that's what we do. We, we're based in Cambridge and we work for companies around the world. Excellent. Thank you uh, for that introduction. Um, you did a presentation today, um, the f predicting future technology trends. Everybody wants to know how the future looks like, uh, Charles. So tell us a little bit about that, please. Yeah, well, I did start off with a caveat saying that predicting the future is uh, very, very difficult, of course. And I had 20 minutes as well. But it's focusing on the sort of technology themes. And uh, the, the four themes I looked at were, um, is technology converging or is it diversifying? As, as we progress, uh, are we sort of going towards a, a kind of a sort of single solution or, or, is it, or is it lots of different things that are, that are all taking um, flight? And uh, yeah, my opinion is it's the latter. So uh, the energy transition has, um, many phases opportunities open up and then they close again and um, there are all sorts of things that you can do to the design of a system to make it better for one set of circumstances as opposed to another so i think the it's, there's a big case for sort of diversification that was one thing another thing i talked about was um, a few sort of hot topics that we see a lot of inquiries about and that we're very active in so one of those is uh, to do with um, slowing down degradation and uh, making things last longer. Another one is power electronics, which is the, the glue that sticks all of these power to X systems together because they're all ultimately powered by electricity. And then um, another topic was about sort of places, the effect on places, the energy transition means that um, different areas of the world will take on different significances. And um, Morocco in particular, is one place where there's a lot happening with um, OCP's investment in green ammonia. And um, we're, we're involved in that in the sense that we're, we're partnering with Innovex to build a, a new technology development venture there so that we can develop utility scale solutions in the geography where they're going to be used using local talent. So they were the main themes. Yeah. Okay, that's a, that's a vast landscape uh, sort of to cover. Uh, obviously not an easy job to look into the future and cover the whole sort of energy transition space, but let's uh, zoom in a little bit onto hydrogen and sort of uh, the hydrogen industry, um, its place in sort of the energy transition and particularly sort of your role or sort of your business, what TTP can do for the hydrogen industry and uh, what, what sort of services you can provide there. Okay, so we're, we're currently very involved in um, the, hydrogen, um, the hydrogen space. And I, I guess sort of classifying the projects we're doing into types, we, we work for startup companies who have um, good funding and strong IP and need some support to turn those two ingredients into a solution that's deployed. Um, that's sort of one type of project. We work for more established companies who've got uh, particular challenges or maybe they're pivoting into this space and uh, they need support in terms of um, new, a new product portfolio. Um, and then we also sort of draw on our domain expertise and our deep engineering and science um, skills to uh, be the kind of um, uh, owner's engineer uh, to uh, offer sort of insights and decision support when it comes to uh, people who are developing infrastructure and they're making big decisions about technology and how to employ it and which things to select and how to integrate them so we can develop techno-economic models to support that kind of work. Okay, that's quite uh, diversified in terms of the, the solutions that you offer as well. Uh, in your own words, what, what, is that, what, is, uh, you, 
what has set you apart uh, sort of from your competition? What are some of the benefits of working with you guys as opposed to maybe uh, other providers out there? Okay, I think the uh, benefits of working with us are you've basically got a ready-made team with um, facilities that they know. So it's to do with speed. A lot of it's to do with speed of execution. We can pull together a team really quickly and get results uh, very fast. And uh, you can draw on the experience. You don't need to go out and recruit people that are hard to find because we're, we're sort of there already. So I think it's that speed of execution and the multidisciplinary aspects of the team. The fact that whatever the challenge is, um, I've been at TTP for 20 plus years, and whatever the technical challenge is, you never get stuck for more than five minutes because there are literally hundreds of experts across all the STEM domains in the same building that you can, that you can go and ask. So uh, it, it, yeah, it, come, it comes down to speed and um, that multidisciplinary aspect, I think. If we talk a little bit sort of finally on the sort of the aspirations of the overarching uh, um, company and what, what they are in 2024, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we're sort of growing rapidly in this space, which I think is uh, important because there's a big global challenge to, to sort of make the energy transition happen. And um, the, in, in hydrogen, the ultimate problem that we're trying to solve is um, reducing the levelized cost so that uh, it becomes um, cost competitive uh, with fossil fuels. And there are so many different fronts that you can attack that on. So we can um, sort of develop new materials. We can um, change the de design of devices to optimize them for the actual conditions that they're operating in. We can work on the power electronics to match the generation of renewable energy to the consumption of it at the lowest possible cost, um, make things last longer, instrument things better, uh, use data more eff effectively to um, have early interventions when things go wrong or need replacing. So it's a, it's a really rich area, but we're always working to reduce the, the levelized cost and to help our clients achieve that, whether they're making materials or equipment or whether they're um, developing new infrastructure. Well, that's an excellent focus to be on uh, to make the industry, particularly the green hydrogen industry, uh, competitive, so to speak, going forward. Charles Cook from TTP, thank you very much. <laughs>